well we are finally down to the edit functionality what i will do is that on this click of this edit button i'm going to open up a model and then we are going to validate and save the data so let us open up the view and i'll copy this add button and i'll paste it over here and change the text to edit and instead of using this blue color i will use the orange color on the delete button we had this confirm item delete method so i'm just going to call confirm item edit method over here and i'm going to pass the item id just like we did over here well now we'll need to create this method so let us go to the component and i'll add the method over here and this would ex accept an id as the parameter and what i will do is that i'll use the same dialog so i'm going to set this flag to true so we are going to use the same dialog for add and edit and also i'll change this to use route mo route model binding and i'm going to set the item property to this item so let us reload our browser and now if i click on the edit we see that the form is being populated correctly let's test this one and this one is also working fine so now we see that this is an add item we can change this to edit item in case when the user clicks on the edit dialog so if we go down over here this is the text and we can put it in a condition that if this item id is set then we will print the text edit item otherwise we will use the add item and there we go so let us reload the browser and now if i click on add model we see that the text is add item and if i click on the edit we see the text is edit item we are calling this save item method so here we will need to make some changes to handle both add and edit condition so i'm again going to check if this item id is set then we need to save the item otherwise we can just use the add item code so for this save i'll just use this item save so now if we go to our browser edit an item i'm going to edit the name as well as the price and now if i click on save we see that the item price as well as the name has been updated let us test the validation and we see that validation is also working fine so with that we have implemented the edit functionality successfully